We're back, everybody. <laughs> Folks, uh, uh, this is a bit of a departure for us here at The Late Night Show. My next guest is here to show you how to keep safe in the streets and not be a victim of crime. Please welcome self-defense expert Fred Armisen. What's up? I'm Fred from the Minneapolis Police. Now I'm here to talk to you about self-defense, keeping safe on the city streets. You don't have to be a victim, okay? Quick show of hands right here in the audience. How many people here carry more than a dollar in cash on them at any time? Raise your hands. That's stupid. Never ever carry more than one dollar in cash on you at any time. If you're gonna go to the store, you ladies are gonna buy a uh, Magnum PI poster or whatever, get rung up, run to the ATM, get that cash out exactly, and pay it, and you're all set, okay? I don't want you to be a victim. I'm gonna introduce to you my assistant and my assailant. This is John. Now, the first thing you'll notice is he's not black. <laughs> a lot of people say to me, oh, he's a black guy. Black people do crime. I don't need any of that racism in here. And besides, if you look at the statistics, nine times out of 10, your attacker's gonna be one of those dirty Latinos. <laughs> now here's what you do if someone's gonna attack you on the street. Use your body, you don't need any weapons. Some guy comes at you, you can use your fingers to blind him. You can configure his body in such a way to get him away from you. For example, arm up, arm down. Arm up, arm down. Elbow in, shoulder down. Head down, head back up. Mouth open, mouth closed. Shoulder out, push away, and he's on his way. <laughs> you can clap your hand to deafen the assailant. You people, you people gotta stay aware. I did an experiment today. I walked up two fire escapes and I watched two different women take showers. They never knew I was there. That's not right. Be aware. Now, John and I, we do this at high schools across the country. Why do I do it? I'll tell you why. A little while ago, my daughter was abducted. She was taken from me. Okay? And when that happened, I vowed I would spend the rest of my weekend searching for her. <laughs> what do you do if someone has a gun? What do you do? You fight. <laughs> Here's what you do. He's got about a quarter of an inch he can use to pull that trigger. I always carry a pen with me everywhere I go. <laughs> pull the gun towards you. Put this pen right here, you can't pull the trigger. If you don't have a pen, get one from the assailant. Thank you. Something else I carry with me is a flashlight. Why? You're at an ATM, you can distract them. Turn on the flashlight. When all else fails, you can always use your cell phone. Pretend like you're having a conversation and it'll leave you alone. Give me your money. Give me your money. <laughs> That's gonna be it for us, but before we go, I want all you people here to repeat a mantra for me everywhere you go in this dangerous city. You guys ready? After me. I am a castle. I am a castle. My hands are arrows of flame. My hands are arrows of flame. You cannot enter the castle until I have brought down the bridge that goes over the moat that encircles the castle <laughs> until I have seen proper to do so exactly at that hour. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. That's it for us. Thank you very much. Very nice Thank job. Fred Armisen, everybody. We hope that was helpful. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.